resistance welding processes produce coalescence of overlapping workpieces with heat generated by the resistance of the workpieces to the flow of electric welding current and the application of pressure. Resistance welding is primarily used to join sheet metal stock, but is sometimes used to join thin plate. All metals which can be fusion welded are weldable by resistance welding. Resistance welding processes use copper electrodes. These electrodes perform four functions. They conduct the welding current to the work and in some cases fix the current density in the weld zone. They transmit a force to the workpieces. They dissipate some heat from the weld zone. And they maintain relative alignment and position of the workpieces in some resistance welding operations. Very high electric currents are used to quickly produce the resistance heat necessary for fusion. The three principal types of resistance welding are spot welding, seam welding, and projection welding. Spot welding refers to making welds one at a time between the electrodes. One, several, or many individual spot welds may be required, depending on the application. Spot welding, with the electrodes maneuvered by articulated arm robots, is commonly used to join sheet components of automobiles. In seam welding, Coordinated pulses of electric current from rotating wheel electrodes produce a series of overlapping spot welds, resulting in a leak-tight welded joint. In projection welding, the welds are localized at predetermined points by projections, embossments, or intersections. Several points may be welded simultaneously. All resistance welding methods use either semi-automatic or automatic systems. With semi-automatic machines, the operator either positions the workpieces between the electrodes or positions a portable welding gun around them and pushes a switch to initiate the weld. Welding then proceeds according to a pre-programmed sequence. Automatic machines feed workpieces into the machine where they are welded and then ejected without operator assistance. The typical resistance welding system consists of a control panel, a welding machine with a rigid frame, a low voltage high current welding transformer, electrodes, leads connecting the electrodes with the welding transformer, controls to regulate electric current and a pneumatic cylinder or other means of exerting force to the upper electrode arm.